Hi folks, I'm SahanAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. I know many of you have been asking me for the Galaxy S3. One of the reasons why I didn't review it because a video is broken. Uh, but the, as of this week, for the GTI 9300, everything works pretty much out of the box. For those of you AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, or Verizon, or if you have the Qual you know any of the Qualcomm editions, uh, everything also works except for the camera. You can sort of get the camera working with open camera, but uh, the app actually freezes a little bit. So you can go ahead and try that, see how it's freezing. Uh, but everything else is the same, just the camera is not working for the US versions. If you have a GTI 9300, you're in luck because everything works out of the box. And also you do have other ROM choices. You can go ahead and uh, install Liquid Smooth ROM. Um, you can go look for that on XDA. Uh, let me give you the camera here. Camera works flawless on the GTI 9300 model. Uh, it might actually freeze just the first time you use it. After that, it works fine. You can take photos while taking a video. Uh, also, the camera works flawless. And also, the front camera works just fine. So, very good stuff. Hey, there I am. Um, you know, for the GTI 9300, it's pretty much stable. Uh, for everyone else, you might have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, for a stable version, it's too bad. The camera should work, but if it's you know if you don't use your camera often, uh, maybe you have another camera you carry DSLR, then go ahead and flash it on the AT&T, T-Mobile, or Sprint, or Verizon. And I think that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, let's just go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, if you don't know how to use Lollipop, um, just just the menus are a little bit different to get your notifications here. You do that. Um, you can get priority notifications. Uh, if you don't want to get any, any notification, you can set it to none. All that good stuff. And also there is uh, a lot more speed. And to, to, on the Antutu, I almost got 25,000. So that's a whopping like 20, 30% increase for the GTI 9300 model. Uh, for the, the other version, it's a little bit slower. I think I got about 22,000, but still not too bad. Um, so definitely try it out. If you have a GTI 9300, you can go ahead and run it as daily driver. Also, if you don't need the camera, you can also run it as daily driver on the other variants. Um, but if that's a deal breaker, go ahead and make a backup ROM. Install the ROM, try it. If you don't like it, restore your ROM back. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to install this ROM uh, because a lot of you asked me. So go ahead and power off your phone. And of course, you have to have a rooted phone. Also, if you have AT&T or Verizon on the latest KitKat and you're using SafeStrap or something, you can't install this. There's just no way uh, because your bootloader is locked. But if you have an older S3 that you rooted, installs ClockMart or Torp Recovery, you're good to go. All right, so go ahead and hold down volume down, or volume up, sorry, center home and the power in that order and hold them down all together. Uh, go ahead and let go of the power button. Keep holding down the volume up and the center home. And the only thing we're gonna really do different from my universal guide, uh, when you install CM12 ROMs or any AOSP ROMs, you wanna really format the system that really cleans out everything and allows you to boot the first time. So with Clockmart Recovery, just go to Mounts and Storage and go to Format System. All right, this will uh, flat format your system partition. This is not your internal storage. Uh, your, your files will still be there. Go back and do a wipe data factory reset. All right, and the rest is the same. Just go ahead and install the ROM. Uh, go to choose it from SD card. Go to my download folder, find, find the CM12. Uh, so for this GTI 9300, it's a Temasek CM12. Go ahead and install that. Install uh, Lollipop G apps, don't forget that. And I'm not gonna answer anymore. Last time I showed in the video, somebody asked me, oh, why is the Play Store missing? You know, it's just like people just, you know, I guess people are busy and just, it's like people drive fast and then they don't see the stop sign, you know. Um, but uh, do install G apps, otherwise you won't get Play Store. If you ask me, I'm not gonna, <laughs> okay, I'll still answer you guys. Um, there's, there's always noobs out there. And when this is done, go ahead and install uh, Lollipop GS and reboot. Now, if you do, don't do the format system, Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. So half the time it might not boot. So that's why I changed all my ROM installation instructions to include format system. And you know that doesn't do anything. You're gonna erase data anyways. Um, so 
that's pretty much it. And I'll be back when this is done. All right, it's finally done. That actually took like five minutes. That was like the longest ever. Uh, anyway, go ahead and install G apps. All right, and you should be done. And this should take not that long. Oops. Make sure you use Lollipop G apps. If you use KitKat G apps, it's not gonna work. Of course not. Um, and when this is done, we're gonna reboot. Reboot should take quite a while actually. With uh, Lollipop, the first time it boots, it takes a while. But after that, it's fast. All right, so it's going to install G apps and go back. Reboot system now, and that's it. Uh, hit no if it asks you for root. Uh, the root, let me go ahead and show you while it's booting here. Um, you do have to enable root for CM12. To enable root, go to settings, go to about phone, go to uh, build, number, build number here. Hit it until it says uh, you have enabled development settings. Go into developer options. Go down to root access, set it for apps and ADB. Hit OK, and that's it. And all of your apps, rooted apps, will be able to run. And this is great. You can always turn off root access. For example, you do some banking and stuff. You can just turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off. You don't have to use like apps like Root Cloak and stuff. Also, Lollipop. I think uh, Expose modules are not compatible with Lollipop. Um, so if you if you absolutely need some of the uh, Expose modules, and I know some of you live by it. Go ahead and try uh, KitKat ROM. You know you don't have to go to Lollipop yet. Just wait until Expose uh, installer developers actually upgrade that. And here's a nice CM12 logo. And the first boot should take about five minutes, so I'm gonna actually fast forward this, and I will be back. Once you see the welcome screen, um, you are good to go. That's how you install it. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.